Microsoft Research has released Lida. This is a tool for automatic generation and visualization and infographics on datasets with large language models. Okay, that's the idea over here. So how does this work? Let's jump to the architecture over here. So basically you have a data set like this, cars.csv. There are four components of Lida. One is a summarizer, goal explorer, visualization generator, and infographer. What does summarizer do? It converts data set into a rich but compact natural language representation, which is your context. So given this cars.csv, it identifies that the car data set contains technical specification for cars and has nine fields like name, miles per gallon, and so on. Then there is a goal explorer where you can specify explicitly goals or it automatically identify goals, okay, a potential goals given the data set context. So goals could be histogram of miles per gallon, plot of miles per gallon versus horsepower and so on. Okay. The visualization generator generates code in visualization based on context and goal. Okay. It can generate, evaluate, repair, filter and execute visualization code to yield specifications. Okay. Specifications may be in any programming language or grammar okay, for your visualization. And the infographer can generate stylized infographics based on visualization and style prompts. Okay. Style prompt could be line sketch art, line drawing and so on. Okay. That is the architecture of LIDA. Basically, this tool makes use of LLM to actually, uh, you know, uh, create visualizations and analyze your data set. That is the idea. So they have a tutorial and I wanted to try it out. So they support a wide variety of LLM backends, including Hugging Face, Palm, Cohere, OpenAI. I'm going to make use of OpenAI. Okay. Uh, so I've created an OpenAI key with my OpenAI account and I will delete the key once I upload this video. As soon as I'm going to upload this video, I'm going to delete it. Okay. I can install LIDA with infographics. Okay. What I realized is that for infographics, you need a lot of memory for a lot of uh, packages like stable diffusion and so on. Okay. So from LIDA, I need to import manager text generation config LLM. Okay. Then I create LIDA is equal to manager. I, my LLM is open AI and here is my API key. And then there is a text gen config where I specify the model is GPT 3.5 turbo. Right. And all I have to do is summary LIDA dot summarize. I have to pass my data, which is what is done over here. Okay. This is the default data in this notebook, the same cars.csv as explained over here in this architecture. Okay. Then goals, leader.goals, uh, I am um, summary n is equal to two over here. So basically I'm uh, generating two goals over here. Okay. Maybe I'll change it and I'll make it three. Right. Let's run it. Um, so the summary, uh, now it is trying to create these goals over here. Previously there are two goals. So the first goal is what is distribution of retail price and dealer cost. There is the visualization side by side box plots of retail price and dealer cost. Rational is this. This visualization will allow us to compare the distribution of retail price and dealer cost variables. Okay. And the box plot is a great way to visualize the distribution of variable. Okay. Second goal is what is the relationship between engine size and horsepower. Third is what is distribution of city miles per gallon and highway miles per gallon. So based on the data set and the data set context, based on the summary, which it creates, it is able to generate these goals automatically. Okay. Now you can also specify your own goal by creating a persona. So the persona is a mechanic who wants to buy a car that is expensive and has good gas mileage over here. Right. And here is the personal goals. Okay. Leader dot goals. Now it is trying to create this goal. Again, what is the relation between retail price and city miles per gallon? Uh, what is the distribution of horsepower? Okay. That is the idea over. Here, the goals are created. Now you can generate visualizations, okay, using your uh, LIDA dot visualize and, uh, you know, you, um, based on the goals, which has already been created over here, you can actually now generate those charts. Okay, what is the uh, relationship between retail price and dealer cost? And then you have, uh, you know, uh, based on the goals, right? So here it is goals of I and I stands for zero. So the first goal, if I change it, it will generate the second one, okay? So that is what is done over here, right? Maybe I'll change and see if it generates. Let's see, for the second goal. And yeah, so engine size versus horsepower, right? What is the engine size relationship and horsepower? So it is creating it. 
you can also generate a visualization by a user query so what is the average price of cars by type that is a user query over here and this is the visualization which has been generated okay now uh, with the visualization generator you can do things like natural language based visualization refinement uh, you know visualization explanation and accessibility um, it generates natural language explanations as well as accessibility description for the visualization right uh, it could do code self evaluation and repair visualization recommendation also it can recommend additional visualization and so on right so it is simple over here um, so given some code you can modify it so you can get the code for a chart which was previously created and you can say things like make the chart height and width equal instructions you can give change the color of the chart to blue um, so maybe i'll make it as in right translate the chart text into spanish and so on right so you can take a previous chart which has been generated okay charts of zero this chart right uh, what is the average price of the cars by type and you can actually now modify it okay it maybe i'll run this again okay uh, now we'll modify that let's take a little bit amount time for this modification to happen okay so basically it has generated the code if i understand okay and then it runs that code okay see the chart color is made to green spanish figure chart so on okay nice now you can generate explanation for that chart as well okay uh, average retail price of different car types okay so basically that one it goes over here uh the you the the code can be um can do self-evaluation of the code and repair the code if required right it can also recommend some kind of new visualizations which is what is shown over here recommended charts okay and you can also create infographics right it makes use of stable diffusion and other things why i'm not running this is because it takes some amount of memory and it's probably going to run out of memory and this is not a gpu instance it's a cpu instance okay probably if you have a, you can try it on a gpu instance and here is one example of their previous chart okay which they did over here so this library is quite exciting because now you can use natural language and interact with your data sets it can automatically do some of those analysis for you you can guide it to do some of the visualization and analysis you can modify edit the visualizations right it can do self evaluation of the code for the visualizations it can recommend visualizations so it is an amazing tool probably you can go and try it out they also have a paper over here where you can learn more about the system architecture and about this tool okay i hope you like this video on lida and it is useful for you if you like the video do share uh, do share subscribe to the channel see you in another video